And there's a catabolic state, which is a breaking down or a destructive phase. That phase can be measured by a gas test, which is called a nitrogen balance in the human body. So if the human body has a positive nitrogen balance, you're actually in an anabolic or a building up phase. If you're in a nitrogen negative balance, you're in a destructive or breaking down phase. There's only one macronutrient that sort of produces, stimulates that nitrogen positive balance, and that's protein. Why would you want to limit the intake? People fast 16 hours and they only eat within eight hours. So that's the first downside. The second downside is that I have a protein target need per of a minimum of 170 grams of protein per day. The average human body from a digestive system perspective can process amounts of protein in rates of like maybe 9 to 12 grams of protein per an hour, which could be anywhere between say 30 to 40 grams of protein every couple of hours. So if I've got a protein target of 170 grams and I can only eat within an eight hour window period and 170 divided by 40, I would need a lot more than eight hours to be able to get my entire protein intake in in that window period.